This is a 407 acre pumpkin farm in Mount Pleasant, Wisconsin, USA. They used to grow pumpkins here, but Microsoft bought this farm a couple of years ago. Now you may be confused as to what interest one of the biggest and most innovative companies on the planet has in buying a farm. The farm was valued at just $600,000, but Microsoft ended up paying a massive $76 million for this particular pumpkin farm. And the reason for this is because of tech's thirst for more compute power. You see, Microsoft and other tech companies are buying up land to build out their data center infrastructure. In the age of AI, AI has permeated our lives in such a natural and effortless way that it is changing how we work, communicate, and operate. But the data center infrastructure that supports AI activity also comes at another cost, power. Not power as in world domination, but power as in energy. You see, at a time when generating a single AI image can use almost as much energy as fully charging your smartphone, solving the energy issue is as important to big tech as progressing on developing LLMs. You could say the development of AI is limited to the extent that we can power AI. And even though AI is getting more efficient as models evolve, we are all demanding more from AI, which means having access to large amounts of energy will continue to be a fundamental part of this equation. Artificial intelligence is revolutionizing industries, but its energy demands are growing at an unprecedented pace, creating new challenges for infrastructure and sustainability. AI models, particularly generative ones like ChatGPT, require immense computational power to function. For example, every single ChatGPT query that you make consumes approximately 2.9 watt hours of electricity, nearly 10 times the energy needed for a Google search query which uses only 0.3 watt hours. With millions of queries processed daily, the cumulative energy consumption is staggering. In 2024 alone, ChatGPT's operations consumed an estimated 226 gigawatt hours of electricity, enough to fully charge over 3 million electric vehicles or power 21,000 US homes for an entire year. And the demand for AI is driving exponential growth in data center operations. A data center is a physical facility, typically very large in size that house IT infrastructure like servers and storage systems for processing and storing data. AI workloads now account for a significant portion of global data center energy use, which is expected to grow at a compound annual rate of nearly 45%, reaching 146 terawatt hours by 2027. That's an absolutely immense amount of power. To put that amount of energy use into context, just one terawatt hour of energy can power 200,000 homes for an entire year or run millions of electric vehicles for thousands of miles. Putting it another way, one terawatt hour of energy is enough to support the annual electricity consumption of a city like New York for over a month. And AI will need 146 terawatt hours of energy in just a couple of years' time. Meanwhile, data centers themselves are becoming increasingly specialized to support high-performance GPUs and CPUs required for AI training and inference tasks. This shift has made electricity the single largest operational expense for these facilities, accounting for up to 60% of their total costs. As AI adoption accelerates across industries, from healthcare to finance and many others, the infrastructure supporting it will have to scale up. However, this rapid growth risks outpacing current energy systems, forcing tech companies to rethink how they power their data centers sustainably while meeting the insatiable energy demands of advanced AI models. And it's nuclear energy that stands out as a uniquely suited solution for big tech's escalating energy challenges. Unlike renewables such as wind and solar, nuclear power provides consistent and reliable electricity generation, regardless of weather conditions or the time of day. This reliability is critical for data centers that have to operate uninterrupted to support AI systems, cloud computing, and global internet infrastructure. But even more than this, nuclear power aligns perfectly with big tech's sustainability goals. As one of the lowest carbon forms of energy available today, nuclear can significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions compared to fossil fuels like coal or natural gas. This makes it an attractive choice for companies that are aiming to achieve net zero carbon footprints while scaling their operations, especially in an age when the pressure from stakeholders is intense. But beyond its environmental benefits, nuclear also offers long-term economic stability. While the upfront costs of building nuclear facilities are high, their operational lifespans, often exceeding 40 years, allow for predictable energy costs over decades. And it's this stability which is absolutely invaluable for tech companies planning long-term investments in AI-driven products and services that require 
massive computational resources. In addition to this, nuclear reactors can be strategically located near data centers to minimize transmission losses and make sure there's a localized energy supply. For big tech firms that prioritize innovation and efficiency, nuclear power represents not just an energy source, but a strategic asset capable of supporting their long-term growth ambitions sustainably. As these companies face mounting pressure from governments and consumers alike to lead in environmental responsibility, nuclear power offers a path forward that balances reliability with carbon neutrality. So what are the big tech companies doing to secure their energy needs? Well, big tech's investment in nuclear power is no longer speculative. It's already happening at scale. Amazon's $650 million acquisition of a data center near the Susquehanna nuclear power plant in Pennsylvania is one of the clearest examples of this shift in strategy. By situating its operations next to an active nuclear facility, Amazon ensures direct access to clean and reliable electricity while reducing its reliance on fossil fuels or less predictable renewable sources like wind and solar. Similarly, Microsoft has taken bold steps by partnering with nuclear startups like TerraPower, a company co-founded by Bill Gates, to explore advanced reactor technologies capable of meeting future energy demands sustainably. These moves reflect a broader trend among tech giants. Integrating nuclear power into their infrastructure as both an environmental commitment and a business necessity. Beyond individual projects, companies like Google have also begun exploring partnerships with developers of small modular reactors, or SMRs, to power their data centers centers in remote or underserved areas where renewable options are limited. These investments signal a paradigm shift in how big tech views energy, not merely as an operational cost, but as a strategic resource critical to scaling AI-driven services globally. And Google's work around small modular reactors is interesting. Small modular reactors, or SMRs, represent the next frontier in nuclear technology and have captured the imagination of big tech as a potential game changer for powering their operations sustainably. Unlike traditional large-scale reactors, SMRs are designed to be smaller, more flexible, and easier to deploy in diverse locations, including urban areas or regions with limited infrastructure. Their modular design allows for incremental capacity expansion. Tech companies can add more units as their energy needs grow without committing to massive upfront investments in large-scale plants. So they limit upfront cost whilst allowing scaling later as energy needs increase. This scalability makes SMRs particularly appealing for data centers, which often expand rapidly along alongside technological advancements like AI and cloud computing growth. Another key advantage is SMR's advanced engineering features aimed at improving efficiency and reducing costs over time. By standardizing reactor components and using innovative construction methods, SMRs promise economies of scale that can make nuclear power more accessible than ever before, not just for tech giants, but potentially for other industries as well. But also, SMRs offer unique opportunities for localized energy production. They can be installed close to data centers or other high demand facilities, minimizing transmission losses while ensuring stable electricity supply, even in remote areas where grid infrastructure could be lacking. For big tech firms looking to balance sustainability with operational efficiency at scale, SMRs provide an innovative pathway forward, a way to harness the benefits of nuclear power without some of the logistical challenges associated with traditional reactors. AI is impacting all parts of our lives, as well as various industries. But AI isn't happening in a vacuum. Its development is dependent on the right talent, more advanced chips, and having a sustainable energy source that can power data centers to provide the necessary compute power to move AI forward. And at a time when the race is on to develop better and faster AI models, energy cannot be the limiting factor. Energy is quite literally the fuel that is pushing AI forward. However, when there is a focus on sustainable energy, keeping in mind environmental emissions, nuclear ticks all the boxes. Now, there have been nuclear disasters in the past, including the likes of Chernobyl and the Three Mile Island incident in the US. But due to enhanced technology, stricter regulation, and improved training, such incidents are hopefully much less likely. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy hearing about stories in tech and you want to support the channel, the best thing you can do is to like this video and to subscribe. See you for the next one.